Hey, remember that glorious, amazing, fantastic gang squad? I'm just going to throw myself at their feet and be at their mercy for the next several hours, I imagine. Cave of the Dead. Don't you just love that name? It's almost foreshadowing, because it's what you're going to be when you get to the bottom of it. Now, I'm just going to run and roll through and try and find the boss. Did I do it? Am I there? Have I... I've do I did it. You see, I was expecting... Sincerely, I was expecting to go the wrong way originally. I bloody didn't. And oh, and by the way, to all the people who said they wanted to see the Chaos Blade build, oh, look, look, look what I've got. Look what I got. I'm going to try and use it against these bastards. No! He is block... You can't block that. Excuse me. Is that a reasonable amount of damage? Brilliant. What the... <laughs> All right, then. We'll just ignore that weapon Beyblading around. Now, thanks to that stupid encounter, I only have nine Estus flasks to go into this fight with. Ancient Soldier Varg, Sarah the Old Explorer, and the Afflicted Grave Robber. I'm... Terrible at my job. How close are they on my ass? Not that close. Uh, come on! I literally just turned the corner! Suck it. And I missed. <gasps> you really don't want to Excuse me with that tracking rapier bullshit. I'm supposed to be the one that abuses that in PvP. Oh no, 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 no! Why didn't it break his poise? Why are you trying to spam me into the ground? I hate this. I absolutely hate it. Even with all the damage that I currently do, it's still not going to be enough. Although I'd like to think, in some glorious alternate universe, hey, maybe even this one, I can get through this without having to die several thousand times. He blocked it. How do you block a falling man? I mean, seriously. How do you block a falling man? Excuse me? How is it nobody staggered by a giant sword and a shiny katana going through them? Ah. Uh, uh. This is... this is why I skipped this. The guy without Havels has ridiculous poise. I'm pretty sure I hit him, right? Oh... I don't know why I told myself, I'll do this. It'll be fun. I don't know why I did. I know what you're gonna say. Hey, you know you're supposed to summon people for this, right? They were designed to not be summoned. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna be the guy that doesn't have an internet connection and isn't able to summon anybody right now. I'm playing for the guy that the game should be designed for, damn it. No game that can be played offline should be designed with online in mind. Or at least designed specifically with online in mind. In this instance of it, this is bullshit. To any poor goddamn soul, they could not summon anybody with this fight. They were screwed in the arsehole with an elephant's foot, might I add. And please, for the love of all that is holy, don't visualize that. Well, at least my souls were right next to the door. That is, that is legitimately the silver lining of the situation. I died near the doorstep. There you go, I can actually react to that one. You soapy whore. Excuse me, excuse me. How do you break my poise with a one ha- you, you, You're rolling through my shit? You- I can't handle with this. I, I, I can't deal with it. D these things, why are they here? These things, why are they here? No! How do I not break someone's poise when I am hitting them with two weapons spinning around at the speed of Sonic 06 jizzing? How? Like, I'm serious. That should be... That should, that should be an instant poise breaker. I hate poise in this game. It's fucking terrible. I jumped over his attack. I <laughs> jumped over... That is officially the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. This attack is absolutely glorious. Can I jumping attack you? That's the wrong... That's the wrong... I'm an idiot. This Havel guy. How? A oh, soapy whore. Soapy slutty whore. Oh, just... Just stand still and don't hit me. That'll do, won't it? How are you breaking... How was... Why is my poise consistently being broken by these skinny bitches? Why am I running face first into this? Will you stop? How is this Havel? He's, this isn't Havel the Rock, this is Havel the Magnet, because he was he's just fucking attracted to my ass with more power than a thousand sudden Hadron colliders. Hadron? Hadron? Hadron. I don't... Fuck off, I'm trying to think how to pronounce a word. Is it Hadron? Hadron? Or Hardon? Which fucking one is it? Oh my god, I killed one of Mary Curly and Low. Okay, then, excuse me. Curly, Larry, and Mo. How did I get those names wrong? My katana's better than yours. Why does that do so little damage? I should just be doing this. I should definitely be doing this. Are you serious? No! Oh, okay, that's fair. 
Oh, that's awesome, in fact. No, that's, that's, fa that's, that's fan-diddly-tastic. What the knobs? Are you kidding me with this? Okay, all I need you to do is... That's it. Oh, no. Jumping attack actually worked, but it didn't break his poise because, goddammit, you tried to do it, and... That does no damage. Okay, then I should most certainly be using the... Why am I using the Chaos... No! Arsehole! You're not allowed to heal! God damn it! Ooh, suck my dick! It's over. Okay? It is game to the fucking over! Suck my vagina! That only took two tries, because thankfully I had a weapon that did damage. That only took two tries, because thankfully I didn't fuck up. I pressed... You should know, by the way. <laughs> when I went to heal the last time, I pressed it three times instead of two, so I, I used up all my fucking Estus flasks. Oh, I can't believe I did it. I, ca I can't believe... I feel a little bit daft having been afraid of that fight, because I just remembered it on New Game Plus 10 and wanting to fucking kill myself. On New Game Plus 4, sorry. That's, that's, that's the one. I wasn't on New Game Plus 10 by default. Am I going to die from this fall? No. See, this is Dark Souls 2. That was actually a possibility. I can't believe I actually did it. I've done it that- I've done it this soon. G guess how long I actually spent doing this. I'm going to give you a moment to guess, and I legitimately want you to. If I'm smart, I'll make a comment for this little section. Take a guess. Have you made your guess? If, if you guessed any more than 10 minutes, you'd be wrong. It is currently just rounding up to 10 minutes now, so it took me about 9 to actually successfully kill all those bastards. 9 minutes. Do you know how long it took me to do it originally? I think about 70. And I'm not kidding, I wish that I were kidding. Bloody hell, this is an accomplishment in my life. I'm happy I've got a smile on my face. Oh, I got that too. Oh, you know, I've just suddenly realised something. I opened the show saying, hey, look, I've got the Chaos Blade for that build, and I, I actually upload them in the opposite order, so you've already seen it and you already know that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That just suddenly clicked. This is, this is astounding. I've never done this before. I've never killed a boss that quickly to the point where I actually have to stall for time. I shall not lie to you. That's what's happening right now. So for some bonus footage, let's see who I'm going to kill this time. Who could it be? Who would I honestly side with? I mean, let's just go over this. I mean, I know this is essentially me being honest and obvious to you. This is a stall for time and me making up to you because I did it so quickly, I fear the episode won't be long enough. But who would you side with on this one? Because me, personally? I always sided with Patches, quote-unquote. It's, it's paid, I know, but... I always sided with him. But then I learned the true nature of it. And he's a cheeky, tricky trickster. While this guy is just posing as a murderer and likely isn't even the original one. But, if I kill this guy, I get a key from him so I can go in his den and get some free stuff. So... What misunderstanding could have caused this? I don't know you being a two-faced lying bastard. I owe you my life. You owe me your life. I intend to collect on that debt once you're done flapping your gums. And just like that, you're useless to me. And if you ain't down with that, then I've got two words for you. Why not? I forgot he had the Ring of Thorns. If that doesn't speak volumes for that man's nature, I don't know what will. Seriously though, I can't believe that I bigged up the goddamn gang squad fight and then beat it. So simply, I'm disappointed with my- <laughs> Okay then, I didn't know you could lead that all the way through there. You live and you learn. Ten rusted coins. Is that cocking it? What's in the other chest? It's better be worth it, goddammit. Oh, that's where you get those from. I never could remember, it's been forever since I actually got all the items originally, but I've forgotten where they all bloody come from. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I- Guess I'll be ending the episode! And I've just realised, by the way, I've been Gerlendorf the entire time. <laughs> I really just... I forgot to change the thing back from the PvP. It doesn't matter that much, but... That wasn't intentional. Quick thing before the usual stick. State of Decay finally got a re-release on the next gen. And I love that game! Adore it, in fact. I already played the original, if that's not clear. I haven't actually played the new one yet. So seeing as it's quite a unique game, it deals with the zombie apocalypse in an amazing way, and the gameplay is quite interesting to watch, in my opinion, I'm curious to know if you would want to see that from me. I ask as always because your opinion matters a hell of a lot more than mine. You, the guys who actually watch this shit, it's, it's good to know if you actually want to watch it. So if you haven't seen it, feel free to look it up, I guess, and if you have, then I'd love to know if you want to see me play that. Do bear in mind, of course, I could make Pong interesting. But anyway, I'm going to have to recommend you go ahead and watch Tomato Gamer's content because it is fantastic. I haven't skipped or missed a video of his since I don't know how long. It's insane to think that I discovered him through Twitter, thanks to Matt Shea. 
Literally, that's how I discovered his fucking channel. Twitter. And also, if you're a fan of finding games or model combat decks, then go check out True Talent. He currently has over 80k followers. It's like over. Remember a day ago where it was just 80 or just below? Now it's over. <laughs> the guy's stream has exploded thanks to Model Combat X. But anyway, that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it. And assuming that you do, please do like the videos, let me know. And assuming that you did, then I think it's safe to say that considering how out of nowhere the ease of the fight was with our little boss, quote unquote, then I think it'd be fair to say that the gang squad got shanked. <laughs> And that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching all the way through to the end. If you enjoyed this or want to see more of it, feel free to subscribe. And knowing YouTube, you may want to follow me on social media so you can actually keep up to date because the subboxes are broken, whereas they are not. If you enjoy outtake content, then feel free to subscribe to my other channel. And if you appreciate the live stuff, then you may want to go over to my Twitch as well. So again, thank you for watching all the way through to the end. And assuming that you do indeed want to see more of this, then I will see you in the next video.